Did you forgot to put an important file on your USB key or you want to type faster on your smartphone? If you're one of those, watch this video where I built nice and compact USB OTG cable from an old USB connectors. First thing you're gonna need is a female standard USB connector and female USB micro B connector which you can get very cheap in your local electronics store. You will also need very thin isolated copper wire. Take your scissors and cut 4 pieces of wire the same length. I make them 10 cm long, but it's your choice if you want to make them long or short. Also cut one very short piece, which will enable our cable to act as an OTG mode. Peel the ends of your wire and put a small amount of solder on, so you can solder them on the connector more easily. Here is a simple schematic of a USB cable, which shows you the correct order of the pins and the default color of each pin. Standard USB connector has 4 pins. Red and black are input voltage and ground, green and brown are data plus and data minus. I didn't have the green one at home, so I use yellow one instead. After you finish with soldering, put a few heatring tubes around the connections and make sure they fit tightly around the cable. Now solder the other ends of the wire on the micro USB connector. I made another schematic how you should wire things up so the USB will work as a host or OTG mode. A lot of people wonder why I have micro USB 5 pins instead of 4. Actually, the extra pin or pin 4 is typically not connected in the normal USB cable, but if it's connected to ground pin, the phone will turn in a host mode and will be able to read USB key, webcams, mouses and keyboards. Don't forget to put the heatring tubes before you solder things up and our cable is basically finished. The cable itself is pretty weak, so we need to make it stronger. You can use electric tape, but way better method is to use the large heatring tube that will make your cable look more awesome. And our cable is finished. I also tried to do this with an old data cable, but I find it more difficult and some cables, especially cables for charging your phone, don't have the extra pin built in. Now I will show you a few options how you can use your OTG cable. Here I have a keyboard which works very good on my Nexus 5. I was able to type 2-3 to three times faster compared to the Android keyboard. The mouse is working fine as well, but I personally haven't found any practical use of it. For me, the best benefit of OTG is that you can put file from your phone to your USB key or hard drive. For this part, your phone must be rooted and you have to install an app called Stickmount, which will detect your USB drive and mount it to the pad written on the screen. And that is how to make USB OTG cable at home for under a euro. Thank you guys for watching my video. That really means something to me and it really keeps me motivated, so please subscribe, like and share it so other people can see it. You can also check out my other projects by clicking the video below.